So we're just about to get underway on the final game of today, which is the Quads of War versus the Tampere Rolling Bros. Just a reminder, if this is your first game that you're watching, this is a 30 minute game with a two minute half time when the teams will swap benches and four penalties will mean a foul out. Um, there is, it's played under WFDA or MRDA rules. Uh, team timeouts do not stop the clock and the whistle will blow at the end of 30 minutes, even if it's mid jam. That's Wesley Crusher being sent off. And up jamming for the Quads of War it is Steve Genius, who's stuck behind a wall of blue, trying to push his way through. And he's attempting a star pass there, but unfortunately, unfortunately he picked up a cut track penalty. And I think I think the, the Tampere blocker there was showing his uh, anger. It's so, it was so fraction, the timing was just so precise. The cut track was called just as he handed it over. Unfortunate timing. But Wesley Crusher is out, bursts his way through that Courts of War wall. And but he knocked them apart like they were six pins. <laughs> Steve Alt, genius stuck behind the wall, being hit out there by the Tampa blockers. But Wesley Crusher has, has re-entered the pack on a scoring pass. but nips to the outside, picking up five points. Steve Genius doing a star pass just before the jam was called. Unfortunately, Duke Newcomb are unable to score any points on that star pass. So up jamming next. They've put the jammers a bit far away for us to see. But that is Thor in trouble from the Milton Keynes jamming, but he's been sent off for a forearms penalty which has meant that Kenny Superpowers has picked up Lee Jam for Tampere. Two jams in, we've already seen three jammer penalties. Is that the way this game is going to go, do you think? Um, I think we also have... We also there had Death Rock sat on the track for a moment collecting himself. He was that cross-legged like it was assembly or something. <laughs> There are some big hits coming from the quads blockers. I wouldn't want to take some of those. Thor in trouble still hasn't made a scoring pass, but Tampere have picked up all of the points. Oh yeah, what's not going to let that go? So, four minutes gone in this game, 24 points to Tampere. Quads yet to get any points on the board. But 24 points is still not enough at the moment to ensure a good lead. We've seen some really exciting tight games. Yeah, 
the quads there are going to hope that Duke Newcomb is, as Lee Jammer is going to be able to put some points on the board for them. Oh, that was Tampere leaving him a good foot of space, which you can't afford to do with somebody like Duke Nukem. He will have that. And that's put four points for the quads on the board, 24 to Tampere. And Wesley Crusher with a big hit from the quads to the outside, recycled back a good quarter of the track. So both both defense are really operating well, really making the jammers work for it. But Steve has made it out of the pack. But Stevel there forcing Wesley Crusher to call off that jam by coming up to the pack. So that has left the score at four to the quads, 33 to Tampere, and we are just six minutes into the game. And it's sore in trouble for the quads of war. I'm impressed at the stamina and strength of everybody playing today. Absolutely, we are on our 15th game today. Each team has played five 30-minute games, and with only 30 minutes, you have to make every second on track count. Absolutely. With the tournament plan as well, you also have to take into account the fact you're going to have long rest periods. So, and as we said, they've been playing all day. There is a next day of tournament tomorrow. And the point score on this game and who wins is going to decide which final these two teams are playing in. So they have got to play for every point right to the whistle. This is a big chance for the Courts of War to pick up some points to close that gap. And Duke Newcomb has been jamming for them pretty much all day. He's one of their sort of heavy rotation jammers. And you can see why. He just skates around the outside, speeds past the Tampere blockers, and they can't do anything. And some heavy blocking there forces him to call off the jam, but that's been a big jam for the quads of war. 18 for them, 37 for Tampere. They've halved the gap. And we're starting on a power jam for the quads. Oh, and a bit of a, a a bit of a tactical error there, I think, from the Court of War. Essentially, the uh, throw in trouble thought that the Tampa jammer was on a scoring pass, so called the jam early, and then there seemed to be some indecision about whether the jam had been called or not. And so then, when there was some blocking after the whistle going on, which then let more whistles go on, and. Stevel's released Jammer. And with only three Tampere blockers on the track, he's out for lead. But Stevel 
gets out of the pack and calls the jam after scoring five points. So it is 37 points to Tampa, a 23 to the quads. That's quite some fight back in just a few minutes. Up jamming next for the quads of war, it is Duke Newcomb. And also only three quads of war blockers on the track, so they have the uh, so Tampere have the advantage. Duke Newcomb there hit out at the last second. I thought he was gonna keep his balance, but he was hit out and recycled back a long way. That's a very dispersed pack that we're seeing. Really trying to stretch the pack out as much as possible to hold back the jammers. <laughs> but nice little apex hop there from Duke Newcomb to get another scoring pass, five full points. And it's really showing the quads really succeeding in keeping the Tampere Jammer back. And Duke there calls the jam. Just waiting for the update on the scoreboard. Again, a great jam for the quads of war. The, the score is now 37 to Tampere, 33 to the Quads of War. Tampere there, with just one blocker on the track, decided to go for the pivot line and they just couldn't hold back Thorin Trouble. And here's Lee Jammer. Thor in trouble trying to get his hips past Tampere to score some points when he calls off the jam. And he has scored points. It looks as two points for Tampere and that's three points for the quads. The, the gap is now just three points. Oh my goodness, it is so close. And they really do have their place in the final to fight for today, so. What's a scoring pass? Penny is also out of that pad and he picks up four points. Steve Hall, fantastic agility and footwork on the outside on his toe stops. Kept in bounds and it's paid off. Four more points for the quads. Swifty Fool now the jammer for the Quads of War. But with only one Tampere blocker on there, I would want somebody as hard hitting as Swifty Fool on the track. Yep. yep. And we have a lead change. The Quads of War are now in the lead. Five more points picked up by Swifty Fool there. But both jammers are back on track now. And so we have Kenny Superpowers picking up some points at the end there. So it's like, ooh, what's it gonna do to the score? So up jamming for the Quads of War now, it is Duke Newcomb. Recently found out is a Star Wars fan, so 
Cause reference, and I only yeah. know that because of the Big Bang Theory. Oh dear, oh dear. I, I knew straight away. I was just, and, and his number is actually the net, the number of the Enterprise. Is it really? Yeah, NCC 1701 is the number of the Starship Enterprise. Oh wow, where's he crushing? You are a cool dude. I have my, geek, uh, I have my full geek on at the moment. But do you get thinks he gets his hips past someone? And one point makes a big difference at this point in time. So that is 55 for the Quads of War, 52 for Tampere. Up next it is uh, Thor in Trouble for the Quads of War. Up against your favourite. It's Kenny's superpowers. Oh, Kenny's superpowers. It's wrong angle to see anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> but Thor in trouble, pushing his way through his pack to get lead jammer. I'm so impressed with Thor in trouble. He's still fighting. He's still going strong. He's still playing a great game he just played earlier. Kenny's superpowers, using his height, trying to use his right to advantage, doing a bean dip, giving his back to the blockers on the outside, but was pushed out. And it's pushed out again and recycled. And picking up a cut track. So it is a power jam to the Quads of War. Also, we, we've seen skaters with such speed able to get back and then dinking that hip that little second more at the right time, and it's such a good strategy. So Thor in trouble on the hunt for more points to try and open up a lead. The quads there goating one of the Tampere blockers. So Thor in trouble picking up four points on that pass. On the, on the roller derby city jam line for the quads of war. Jusuf has been going really hard and fast today. He's going to really want to build this lead. And <laughs> you give him a centimetre and he'll take the inside line and they left him a foot. And covering the whole track with somebody as agile as Duke Nukem, he will he will take the smallest gap, like just there, picking up five points. So that is opening up the lead a little bit more. 69 to the Quads of War, 52 to Tampere. Ten minutes to go. Up jamming now for the Quads of War, it is Steve Genius. Steve there with that sort of low down approach. You see some jammers take. Well, less than, less than, well, it was instantaneous, really. But Steve Genius is out of the pack. That was textbook line clearing by the Tampere blockers to leave that lane wide open for him to just skate through. So that's them closing the gap. 56 now to Tampere, 69 to the Quads of War. Nine minutes to go. Who has the best shorts? And I've seen good shorts today, but I am loving those shorts. But mugs and but mugs and kisses is out waving his rainbow bottom at us. Uh, 
Mugs and Kisses approaches the pack, skates, is pushing his way through that Tampere wall. He's getting some offense from the quads to try and help him through, but he is stuck. Mugs and Kisses, um, it, I, I met him earlier, and he is entirely covered in glitter. That's his thing. He likes, um, apparently he, he likes it because then he can hit other people and make them glitter too. So not quite a lead change, but that gap has been closed right back up again. Less than six minutes to go in the game. I think we will. We, there's all potential. We'll see a lead change now. Great. That was a fantastic piece of blocking there, clearing that inside line. But Wesley makes a five point scoring pass, so we do have a lead change. But that is a tight, tight quad wall that Wesley Crusher is facing. But we've also had a star pass change. Duke Newcomb is now the jammer for the Quads of War, but the jammer's called before he can score any points. What, what an exciting game. So up next we have Kenny Superpowers for Tampere and he's up against Steve Old Genius for the Quads of War. Kenny though has superpowers. And his his ability to jump around the pack is phenomenal. Although at the moment the packs are so dynamic, I'm not sure whether it's a pack or a rugby scrum. Kenny Superpowers gets past the last quads blocker and is out of the pack, but he's half the track behind. Stevel scores that crucial couple of points. Three points there. But they've resolved that issue, so it is now 76 to the quads, 79 to Tampere. Three point game. Uh, oh we have uh, Dueling Danjo out as lead jammer for the quads, and he's three quarters of the track ahead of Tampere. Scores the points, hits it, and quits it. Oh, blimey, I am on the edge of my seat. We're on the edge of our seat, the crowd are going wild. It is so insane in here. This is totally anybody's game. Up next for the Quads Warrior is Duke Newcomb. <laughs> Kenny Superpowers there facing a lot of blockers taller than him, but it doesn't stop him. And it's Wesley Crusher now as lead jammer. That was me not being able to see the jammer number there, I think, on Tampere. It is Wesley Crusher jamming. But Tampere score the points, hit it and quit it. Crucial. Got one more 
Stevel has half the track on Kenny's superpowers. Can he score the points? Oh, now, I would not want to be the jam ref on that. Two points for Tampere. Three points for the Quads of War. There is a chance. If the quads come out, get lead, and get two points, they could do it. Wesley is trying to, he's trying to run down the clock, calls the jam, and that's the game. What an incredible game to end an incredible day. Just fantastic.